Across Europe, central government services cover different kinds of missions, services, or administrations from one country to another. But they are all affected by psychosocial risks, which are a growing concern. There are various risk factors that can cause high levels of stress, such as dealing with users who are in a difficult or vulnerable situation, time pressure, workload and inadequate resources, lack of cooperation within the organization, job insecurity, discrimination, harassment. Exposure to these risks can have a very damaging psychological and physical health effects for the employee. Cardiovascular diseases, musculoskeletal problems, burnout, depression, and even suicide. For the functioning of the organization, the effects are high levels of sickness, poor performance, low morale that can increase work errors, higher costs, and potential reputational damage. Psychosocial risks must not be ignored. Central governments must be exemplary in preventing and tackling those risks at work. To this effect, trade unions and employers have produced together the very first European guide especially made for all the stakeholders in central governments. In the guide, you will find a brief reminder of European legislation, an overview of social dialogue agreements on stress and third-party violence, how to carry out risk assessments with employees, and above all, examples of collective and individual solutions which have already been implemented in different countries. In case of exposure to physical or verbal violence, a clear policy involving managers, medical and psychological staff, and other colleagues to deal with complaints and to provide support to the employee has allowed for quick and efficient response. The introduction of digital tools can lead to work intensification and stress. Consultation and regular training of employees and managers about new technology have reduced stress levels. With new technology, employees are potentially connected to their work 24 hours a day. Establishing rules by social dialogue is part of the solution, for example, on the right to disconnect. Beyond these examples, you will find in the guide why and how to introduce, in a coherent way, a real prevention culture of psychosocial risks in your organization.